Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Emmy, and today we're going to have a face-off between Samsung's Epic 4G and HTC's Evo 4G. Both of them are dual-band CDMA, EVDO Rev-A 3G, and they also both offer WiMAX 4G connectivity. The Epic 4G weighs in at 154 grams, build quality high-grade plastic on the front and sides, nice chrome accented metal rim that runs the entire perimeter of the phone, We've got a full slide-out QWERTY keyboard, very solid on the back, soft rubberized texture coating along with a nice accent around the camera. Taking a look around the Epic 4G on the bottom is the microphone. On the left hand side, volume rocker up and down. On top is your 3.5mm headphone jack along with your micro USB port. It's got a great little door to protect it and give you easy access. On the right hand side is the power and lock key as well as your dedicated camera key. All right, on the Evo 4G, weighs in at 168 grams. Build quality, high-grade plastic along the front and sides. On the back, nice soft rubberized texture coating, along with a cool accent, red and chrome looking around the camera. And you've got your chrome looking kickstand here at the bottom as well. All right, taking a look around the Evo 4G, you've got your HDMI port as well as your micro USB port and microphone down here on the bottom of the phone. On the top is a 3.5mm headphone jack along with your power and lock key. And on the right hand side is the volume rocker up and down. Alright, on the back of the Epic 4G you've got a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus, LED flash, geotagging, blink detection as well as anti-shake. It shoots HD quality video at 720p. Underneath the battery covers a 1500 milliamp battery. Rated at six and a half hours of talk time. Also underneath the battery cover is your micro SD card slot. The battery does not need to be removed to replace or exchange the micro SD card. On the Evo 4G on the back, you've got an eight megapixel camera with autofocus, dual LED flash, face detection, as well as geotagging. It also shoots HD quality video at 720p. Underneath the battery cover on the Evo 4G, you also have a 1500 milliamp battery. This one's rated at six hours of talk time. Also have your micro SD card slot underneath here. You do have to remove the battery replace or exchange micro SD cards on the Evo 4G. All right, on the front of these two, the Epic 4G upper right hand corner, you've got a front facing VGA camera for video calls. Below that is the four inch Super AMOLED capacitive touch display showing 480 by 800 pixels. It offers multi-touch, accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor as well as a six access sensor. Just below the display you have four touch sensitive keys, a search key, a back key, a home key as well as a main menu key. On the Evo 4G upper right hand corner you have a 1.3 megapixel camera, front facing camera for video calls. Below that is a 4.3 inch capacitive touch display showing 40 by 800 pixels, offers multi-touch proximity sensor as well as an accelerometer sensor. Just below the display you have four touch sensitive keys, a search key, a back key, main menu key, as well as a home key. Memory on the Epic 4G, 512 megabytes of RAM, 512 megabytes of ROM. Memory can be expanded an additional 32 gigabytes to the use of micro SD cards. On the Evo 4G you've got one gigabyte of RAM, 512 megabytes of RAM, and again memory can be expanded an additional 32 gigabytes to the use of micro SD cards. Wi-Fi, Epic 4G offers B, G, and N with support for DLNA. Evo 4G offers Wi-Fi B and G. Both of them have Bluetooth version 2.1 with support for A2DP. Both of them have GPS with support for AGPS. Both of the phones can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. Epic 4G can tether up to five devices simultaneously. Evo 4G up to eight. As far as processors, Epic 4G runs on the ARM Cortex A8 Hummingbird 1 GHz processor. Evo 4G runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon 1 GHz processor. Operating systems, the Epic 4G runs on Android 2.1 Eclair with Samsung's TouchWiz 2.5 UI overlay. And the HTC Evo 4G runs on Android 2.2 Froyo with HTC Sense UI overlay. Right, let's continue our face-off between the Samsung Epic 4G and HTC's Evo 4G. Take a little closer look at the user interface on these two smartphones. Again, they both run on the Android OS, Epic 4G Android 2.1 Eclair. 
has a Samsung TouchWiz 2.5 UI overlay and again the Evo 4G runs on the Android 2.2 Froyo operating system and has HTC Sense UI overlay basically what that means is you're gonna get seven different panels on both of these phones that you can customize on the Epic 4G either with Samsung or Android widgets bookmarks folders contact information or application shortcuts on the Evo 4G again the same seven panels this time you can customize them with HTC or Android widgets again bookmarks folders contact information or application shortcuts let's take a quick look at some of the different widgets on both of these smartphones we'll start with the calendar widget again on the Epic 4G you have a calendar clock if you have appointments they show up on the clock tapping on this is a shortcut directly to the calendar application HTC you've got a full month view you can have a week view agenda view day view uh, but tapping on this will, is also a shortcut to the application. This is your buddies now or shortcuts to make a call or send a direct message to a contact. Look at both of those. These are your weather widgets on both of the smartphones. This is your stock widget to track stocks on the Epic 4G. It's a single stock. Uh, you can track multiple stocks on HTC Evo 4G. There is no bookmark widget on the Epic 4G there's also no program running programs running in the background or running programs uh, widget for the HTC so there's a couple of different things on each and then finally the friend stream or buddies now excuse me feeds and updates on the Epic 4G both of them cover the same thing uh, they both cover Facebook Twitter as well as MySpace so there's a look at some of the different widgets on the two phones uh, let's take a look at the main menus real quick and on the Evo you've got four across it scrolls up and down on the Epic 4 you've got four across and the menu moves left to right go to the home key there's shortcuts on both of these to access the different panels on the Epic 4G you've got the seven dots up here at the top tapping on one of them will take you directly to that panel on the Evo 4G from the home screen tapping on the home key will bring up a seven panel overview act as shortcuts you can tap on anyone to go directly to it squeeze it back together and it'll give you the overview tap on it to get back home both of the phones multitask holding down the home key on both of the phones will bring up the task managers something new on Froyo you now get to see eight of your recent apps that you had open in the background again tapping on any one of them will take you directly to it there you go on the Epic 4G something a little different you still only have six uh, recent applications showing up because it's uh, 2.1 Eclair but Samsung has a built-in task manager which is pretty cool it gives you an opportunity to end tasks that you'd like to close in the background also gives you a summary of um, where your RAM is at the moment and storage on both uh, the internal storage on the phone as well as the uh, micro SD card which I thought was pretty slick both of the phones have notification panels up here at the top something a little different on the Epic 4G Samsung gives you shortcuts for four different applications one for Wi-Fi Bluetooth 4G and GPS other than that they're exactly the same they notify you either for emails text messages missed calls voicemail pretty much everything on the phone you can tap on it to go directly to it you can hit clear to get rid of your notifications or you can simply close it and if you still have notifications left you'll get a, a notice or status of those notifications in the upper left hand corner anyway there's a quick look at the user interface on both the epic 4g and the evo 4g